Hey guys, this is Max Headspace 9mm. And every now and then I break out my AK pistols. The reason I do that is because they're just tons of fun. They're kind of a magical thing. They never cease to put a smile on my face. The AK pistol, as it's configured from the factory, may not be the most practical firearm in the world, but it does have some relevance on the battlefield. You see, these things aren't some kind of a U.S. creation. If, uh, if you were in a military unit in the Middle East, you would probably see them used by some of the commanding officers who aren't issued long guns necessarily. They actually prefer something that's a little smaller. And they do have holsters for them that they actually wear them on their person as they walk around with these AK pistols. Anyway. I got a few. Uh, they're just really fun and they just make me happy. So I brought them out today to share with you. Now I don't know if you guys ever used to watch the uh, TV show Bonanza, but I got nicknames for these guys. This one is Adam, this is Hoss, and this is Little Joe. This is a Polish hell pup. Now, this is uh, basically distributed by I.O. It's an inner ordinance product. Some people have a problem with I.O. I don't have a problem with the quality of this at all. This thing is phenomenal. It's never let me down. It works fantastic. Uh, all the stuff that people have complained about I.O., I have never seen any of the issues in this particular firearm. And I'm used to a lot of AKs, so maybe I just got lucky. I don't know. The... Um, this one here is a PAP M92. This is the workhorse of the group right here. This thing is built tough, um, heavy walled receiver. Everything about it is just incredibly, incredibly well made. This is a Zastava product made in Serbia. And uh, it's probably, if you were going to have just one of all of these, I would probably pick this one personally. It's the best all around. This guy right here is a micro Draco. So this is Romanian. Now the Romanians call these, there's actually three different sizes of these things that they make. And they call them Dracos in honor of Count Dracula. A lot of people don't know that. But Count Dracula was an actual dude in Romania. He, there's a castle you can go there if you're a tourist. You can, you can see where he lived. Of course, here in America, we kind of exaggerated his story a little bit. He was sort of a freaky guy, but he didn't suck blood and do all the stuff that our movies make him out to do. And so that's why they call these Dracos. There's a Draco, there's a mini Draco, and a micro Draco. This is the micro. It's the smallest of the three. And it's about the smallest AK pistol you're going to find anywhere. I got a couple of Romanian friends, and maybe they were pulling my leg when they told me, that Dracula was the inspiration of the Draco. But both of them agreed. One of them was an extra ex-factory worker who uh, put these things together. So I think he's probably telling the truth, though he might have been funning with me a little bit. Romanians have a really good sense of humor, by the way. Anyway, we're going to try these out today. We're going to have some fun with them, and you're going to see the differences between them on Max Headspace 9mm. <music> All right, let's start out with the biggest first. All of these, of course, are unloaded, and they pretty much break down like any AK. This one has a piston that's very similar to a full-size AK. This has the longest barrel, I think, you know, from what it looks like to me, it's probably around 10 inches long, I'm not exactly sure, depending on how you measure it. Do you measure it all the way back? where the breech hits, or do you measure it at the end of the chamber? I don't know. But it's about 10 inches long. And, uh, you know, just like an AK, everything goes together. All the parts are interchangeable with an AK. Everything works the same. So here's the thing. This has a threaded barrel, which will take a host of different 
muzzle devices, any kind you could want. This is just a four-pronged flash hider. This also will do a good job of cutting wire. If you need to get through a barbed wire fence, just hook the wire through these prongs and shoot, and it will cut through that wire just as slick as a whistle. It has regular AK sights. This is a hooded front sight. I really like that. And this is really a fantastic gun. It has a regular traditional grip. This is a new thing that, that we put on here. It's basically just a place for you to hang a sling if you want to just carry it around like that. Uh, this guy here, the PAP M92, uh, has some nice features. They've got <clears throat> really cool flip-up sights. You can use it a notch sight and a post or basically the kind of sights that you use for pistols. I don't know if you can see there's a three dot system there, front and rear. So that's really cool. Now it has this, uh, this little collar on here that is tack welded on. If you take a Dremel and cut that off, you've got threads, you can put um, a four piece flash hider, anything you want on there, works really well. Um, this one has a hinge top cover. And I think that's really great. If you've got your sights on the top cover, a hinge top cover is going to not move around and, and be as likely to be inaccurate. And just like the other one, it breaks down in the, in the same way. Whoop, got to put your safety down. A little bit shorter piston on this than on a standard AK. Uh, I think this one's about a nine inch barrel, if I remember right. Not exactly positive, don't quote me on that. The bolt has never rusted. I suspect it's stainless. Uh, at the very least, it is plated with some nickel or something, but I've had this thing out in the rain. It's never, ever shown any signs of rust. I'd love to think that this is a stainless bolt. Who knows? Maybe yes, maybe no. Fantastic gun. They all take AK mags. Now this one's a little tougher to take apart than the others. It's just not built quite the same. Yes, the top cover comes off, and yes, the rear leaf sight is in the top cover. But the thing is, this thing doesn't wiggle around that much. It's a fairly steady top cover. So I actually think it's not too bad for the kind of shooting you're doing with this. This is not something that you're going to go out and do precision shooting with. It's for close quarters. So anything within, say, 150 feet, you're going to be just fine. Plenty accurate for that. One thing that's different about this than the others is it has a little buffer block in it. Now that is only there. It does short the cycling of it a little bit. It doesn't go all the way back like the others, because if it did, the piston would come all the way out, and you don't want that because, look at this, it's not held in the gas tube. It comes back, oh, to about right there. But it always winds up going back in. And even though this thing is incredibly short, it's basically the same function. It is a gas-operated gun. But that's what they had to do to get this thing to work, just like a regular AK. The spring is a little bit shorter too, but it works. It works just fine. Got to remember this. I'm used to putting AKs together and I'm not used to having to put this thing in here. It goes like that. Come on. No, it goes like that. And the spring goes in just like normal. and the top cover. Oh, I just want to show you before I do that. See? So the piston comes all the way out, but it always winds up finding its way back in, so it's not a big deal. Top cover is a little bit tight, and that's so that it doesn't move. It doesn't rock, doesn't really move very much at all, so that that sight still lines up pretty well and it's fairly accurate. One feature with the Micro Draco that's really important is the fact 
It has a threaded barrel, just like any other AK. And you want that because the, uh, I don't know what this thing is called. It's basically supposed to be a flash hider, but it's almost worthless for this gun. This thing puts out a report and a fireball that is absolutely unbelievable. There's a lot of gas coming out of this gun and it bangs right in front of your face. There's some really fantastic muzzle devices that you can get for this that mitigate a huge amount of that. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So let's take some shots with these and have some fun. Like any AK rifle, all of these work with either stick mags or drum mags. The PAP M92 AK pistol. Ain't that a sight. <laughs> Woohoo! Now you might have noticed the difference between those last two guns. The biggest one was the flash. Big fireball. And that's just with the diminishing of a couple of inches of barrel. Now, the Micro Draco is the shortest barrel of all of them. Let's see what it has to offer. Man! I don't know if that's coming through on the camera, but it's like a big ball of fire right out here, and there's bits of soil raining down on my head. Now, isn't that the cutest thing you ever did see? A micro Draco with a Romanian drum mag. It's like they were meant to be together. Wow. Mega smile. <laughs> All right. Practical application. What is the purpose of something like this? Frankly, 90% of all the people that get these SBR them. Uh, you know, this barrel is only about four inches shorter than a full-on AK barrel. So if you have a, an underfolder or a side folder, this is just slightly smaller than that. Uh, SBR is $200 tax stamp, about a year's weight and there's restrictions that go along with it. Some people put pistol arm braces on them. Something that you can get a little bit of a cheek weld with so that you can sight better than this. Uh, frankly, I don't really like shooting these for accuracy. It's just kind of not intended for that. You can, I can get some really good, I can lock. I don't know if you can see this. I lock my hand against my elbow and it holds it really steady. At an arm's length, I can line up the sights. It's surprising how accurate these things actually can be. So the sights are important. So, you know, they're mostly fun, but yeah, they're sort of practical. A lot of people get them with the excuse that it's a, a home defense weapon. Uh-uh, don't do that. This is about one of the worst things you can use for home defense. Very dangerous. It's basically shooting an AK in your house. So, a normal AK with regular ammunition will produce a velocity of around 22 to 2400 feet per second out of a 16 inch barrel. With this IO help up, the velocity of a 30 caliber round, AK round, um, 762 by 39, is going to drop down just very slightly it's still over 2,000 feet per second, somewhere between 2,000 and 2,100 feet per second. The Zestava M92. Now, you're losing a couple more inches of barrel over the help up, so it is smaller, and when you SBR these things, they are a wicked cool item. They're some of the hottest ones out there. The fit and finish is fantastic. They're incredibly durable. They're very practical and easy to live with long term. So like I said, if I was going to 
give somebody advice as to which of the three of these you wanted to SBR, or just leave alone like this, I would say there's a Stava. These are plentiful. They're still out there all over the place. And the prices actually are very stable. Nobody makes AKs like uh, Serbia does. They are amazing. And they have been doing it for a long time. Anyway, uh, or Yugoslavia. Depends on when we're talking about. So the velocity of the projectile coming out of this gun drops about 100 feet per second below that of the I.O. So you're looking at about 1,900 to 2,000 feet per second. Still pretty fast. That's a lot faster than a pistol round. The Romanian Micro Draco. The quality is extremely good. It's definitely going to go the distance. May not be quite as pretty as the other two, but it depends on the eye of the beholder, to be honest with you. I really think that this wood hand grip, there's more wood in this. If you're shooting a lot and the fore end gets hot, you can shoot this longer than the other two. The fireball that comes out of this makes it the least practical of the three. If you have to use this for home defense, it is going to be a detriment to you. Because at nighttime when it's dark, that flashing light is going to make you blind. Your eyes can't adjust, so you're not going to be able to see what you're doing. The noise is so incredibly loud, you'll go deaf instantly, so you won't be able to hear what you're doing. And if some attacker is in your house, you're going to be an easy target after firing this a couple times. Just saying. The velocity of this, these all fire the same exact round. The velocity of that AK 7.62x39 bullet coming out of this gun is still going 1,700 plus feet per second out of decent quality ammo, regular Russian stuff, steel case, you know, nothing fancy. So the thing about that is that's still really fast. It's faster than 9mm. It's definitely faster than 45 or even 40. Uh, now, there are some rounds like um, 357 SIG that'll kind of get close to that. But is that really practical? Is there a real use for this? Well, it is a lot of fun. And in America, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is a legitimate reason to want to have something. But I'm going to show you in coming months, if there is interest in this idea, how to make this gun a practical self-defense weapon because there are lots of products that can go on here that will make it exactly that. It isn't now, it's just for fun. But with some work and a little bit of thought, we can conquer all of the things that make this gun impractical. And then it will be actually a pretty cool and practical firearm. Now, if you're really dead set on a practical AK-based self-defense weapon, I do have one recommendation. Some of you recognize this. This is my trusty Kiapa Pac-9. This is not shooting the AK round. Out of a gun this small, 9mm is much more practical for close quarters. If you are going to use 9mm to defend your home, this would be a much better platform to do that. The reason why that is, is it doesn't produce a huge flash or a huge loud report. You can thread the muzzle, though it doesn't come that way. I did a video showing how you can thread the muzzle on these and with a suppressor this thing actually becomes a potential self-defense weapon. With the rails you can add lights and lasers and all the other things you need to do. This one has a little spring, junior spring, just like the AK but much smaller. Just like the Micro Draco, it has a little plastic buffer in it and with all the thousands of rounds I have in this gun, I don't see any evidence that this thing is wearing or cracking or falling apart. It's amazing. I don't know how they do it. Now, this, just like the Micro Draco, the bolt comes all the way out. But this is not a gas tube. This is a blowback action gun. And this is just a blowback bolt. 9 millimeter. This is a counterweight. This is not a piston. They just put it there so they can get a little more weight on that bolt and it does the job. So 
It's a really cool little gun. I highly recommend it if you're thinking of something like this for home defense. It does the job and I've had tons of fun with this. And anybody that's watched my videos about this has watched me transform this into a practical, tactical SMG. It takes Glock mags, very reliable, very high capacity, and it's so simple, there's nothing that you can't do to fix this and keep it going. This, just like the Draco, is Romanian made, and while it might not be the prettiest thing on earth, it works. It just plain works. I'm in a very contemplative mood today after shooting my AK pistols, and I have a thought for you. You know, there comes a time in the life of every toilet when you just have to make that journey to the great big porcelain landfill in the sky. It is not a time for tears, my friends. These toilets have lived a good life and served well. And what better fitting send-off to give them than with an AK-47? Today's toilet destructification will be accomplished with the help of my little partner. This is a PAP M92 fully turned into a hot rod AK. It is an SBR wannabe, without all the hang-ups of the SBR. It has a CNC Warrior flash hider that works incredibly well. Uh, I featured that in a video I did last year. Uh, at nighttime, it takes pretty much all the flash away, and it directs the sound waves away from the shooter and makes shooting this gun much more comfortable. I have my Romanian drum magazine. Nice little hand grip right here, keeps the hand nice and cool while many rounds are going down the pipe. Folding pistol arm brace. And uh, a Magpul grip, really nice. As long, as well as an ALG trigger, which is a very nice trigger for AKs. Probably one of the best ones you can get without spending a fortune and totally rebuilding this gun. So let's get to work. Destructification complete. This is Max Headspace 9mm, signing off.